Jesus, I can hear your name reverberating throughout the halls of human history, bouncing off the walls of human hearts, riding on the waves of sound, transcending and transmitting life to every substance. You were there. Before dust had formed, before living things had beating hearts, you hovered over the face of the dawn as if it broke for the first time. For darkness was no match for you. And proud as it may be, it had to bend for you to bow and to break and move aside for you and with four words come into subjection to you. Let there be light. For you are a mighty God with a stronger arm than the greatest champions history has ever known, greater than the might of Pharaoh's army and the height of Jericho's walls, deeper than the depths of Daniel's den and brighter than the blaze of Babylon's furnace. More piercing than the 400 years of heaven's silence, you broke the silence, and in doing so, you broke the curse setting in motion a salvation narrative that not even Herod could reverse. You are purer than the innocence of Mary's womb, oh, and fiercer than the raging waters that calmed beneath your feet condemning sickness to the pit and setting captives free. All authority is yours in all of heaven and on earth. So you authorize kings who rise and fall at your command, doing according to your will in the host of heaven and among the inhabitants of the earth. No one can stay your hand or subdue your glory or take your life unless you lay it down freely, Jesus. See, the cross you bore was the one you chose and it served you in the same way as the tomb from which you rose, making a mockery of the grave, stripping it of all of its power for 